Birababaje kubona inevelisite zo mu Rwanda zose engineering programs zazo ntabwo ziri internationally accredited dufite hek ariko herek ni roko regulator bisobanuye ko iyo tuvuga AFCTA mobility wo kuvuga ngo uburumva hari za negotiation ku rwego rwa leta ariko tuzahura nibibazo bya recognition zo kugira ngo uve hano uje gukorera mu kindi gihe It's really good to see the good work that WFEO is doing and we look forward to this uh, the Gecko convention here AFCFTA is an opportunity for all Africans not actually Rwandans but this is a framework that also requires society all the nationals to be prepared for those opportunities. The Minister of Infrastructure and the Rwanda Housing, in particular, we all committed to participate in full. byatangiye muri 2020 ariko inshuro ya mbere ni ya kabiri ni nkaho byakorwaga virtually ariko uko iminsi igenda hagiye habaho gahunda zo kugira ngo buri muri buri gihugu habeho kwibukiranya no gukora reflection mu nshingano z'aba engineers aho bikorwa neza tuhashime aho bidakorwa neza dushyire imbaraga zo kubyimprovinga ndetse nabo dusabwa gukorana nabo tubashe gukorana nabo neza nkuko bikwiriye uyu munsi rero nabateguriye presentation birashoboka yuko benshi muri mwe mwaba ibyo ndi buvuge mu bimenyereye ariko ni munabonamo ibyo mutamenyereye cyangwa bivu bitabaryoheye muraza kumbabarira jewe niko mbibona uh, ariko nanone icyo nabizeza urugendo ni runini cyane dusabwa kugendamo kugira ngo umwuga wacu tuha gaciro tunoze kandi unanogere abo dukorera nasabaga rero ko bashyiraho iyo presentation urugaga rwansabye yuko nzakora presentation igendanye na nishingano Inshuro nyinshi rero hari igihe abantu uh, muri kamere yacu dukunda bikunda koroha gutunga urutoki abandi twebwe twibagirwa ko izisigaye ziba ari twebwe zireba muraza kumbabarira rero aho mubona yuko ari mwebwe namwe mubifite mu ruhare tuvane hano umurava wo gukosora kugira ngo icyo twifuza tukigende mo neza kandi turi benshi Sinzi naba uh, hari message natanze ya federation nagerageje kuyishyira kuri kumbuga sinzi naba bamwe muri mwe mwarayibonye ariko ikigamijwe kinini ni ubufatanye institution izi harimo ni yo mu Rwanda usanga ubufatanye bwazo na leta imikorere n'imikorane ritaragenda neza rimwe na rimwe nibyifuzwa ugasanga ntibigenda neza kubera yuko haracyarimo imbalance rero urugendo ruracyakomeje ariko buri yango bisaba kudacika intege kugira ngo tugere kubyo twifuza birababaje kubona inevelisite zo mu Rwanda zose engineering programs zazo ntabwo ziri internationally accredited dufite hek ariko herek ni roko 
regulator bisobanuye ko iyo tuvuga AFCTA mobility wo kuvuga ngo uburumva hari za negotiation ku rwego rwa leta ariko tuzahura nibibazo bya recognition zo kugira ngo uve hano uje gukorera mu kindi gihugu murabizi yuko no mu gace dutuyemo bamwe muri mwe mugomba kuba mwaragiye muhura nibyo bibazo bati twebwe degree yawe ntago tuyemera abajya hanze kwiga masters rimwe na rimwe bakana basubjectinga kuzindi courses zo bavuga ngo ni prerequisite zo kugira ngo uje kuri ya level uyu munsi rero yaba masters program yaba bachelor's degree yaba technology yaba ad ziri onure recognized mu Rwanda urumva rero ko urugendo turacyafite ni runini ntago dufite international accredited programs ubundi kintu iya abantu bacyumva neza muri ya evidence yuko police makers batumva engineering ubundi bikorwa byose z'inkingenye ziri muri vision 2050 kwa ko expectinze ko bivuga cyangwa habamo na chapter ivuga kuri engineering ikanarelatinga engineering na bya bikorwa unfortunately ivuzwemo kabiri gusa ijambo engineering nabwo rivugwa muri ya acronym ya STEM science technology engineering and man mathematics ubwabyo bihita bikwereka ikibazo cyuko mu byukuri ntago vision 2050 bona engineering nk'igisubizo cyo kukemura cyangwa cyo guhindura transformation yifuzwa iyi ngiyi ubwayo kuri jewe nyibona nka gap murakoze je ni igitekerezo cyangwa ikifuzo ntabwo ari ikibazo nshaka kwibwirira kazawadi eh byaragaragaye ko muri engineering eh ibijyanye na finance ndavuga ubwo ma bank ntabwo bumva neza aba bank dufite ntabwo bumva neza engineering yaba ndi hafi na rikumubaza ntese haba hari umushinga watangijwe wikigega cyangwa se bank ijyanye nibitekerezo bya engineering uko bank dufite urebye zumva abacuruza umuceri ni sukari gusa nabwo ibitekerezo bya engineering bihabwa gaciro uburyo umuntu ashaka kwifashisha finance mu gushyira mu bikorwa ibitekerezo bya engineering kuko ubona abantu turaha muri engineering abenshi dukora mu mishinga y'abandi ariko ntabwo ari cyo twaremewe numuntu ashaka gukora imishinga ye kugitike ushaka kugira igitekerezo cyawe ukacyimplementinga binyuze muri bank ariko bigaragara ko le financier dufite batumva neza engineering murakoze murakoze ni engineer gahutu ive eh mbaye nkunganira ibyo mvye yaramaze kuvuga kuba mu Rwanda dufite perception yo kumva ko engineer sivyo engineer gusa bigira ingaruka nyinshi ku nyubako zimwe na zimwe zaba iz'ubucuruzi cyane cyane iz'ubucuruzi ndetse n'izo guturamo ariko iyo case ntabwo ndimo nyibona hano hano ho ni byiza batekereje kuri kategori zose z'abinjiniers kwibagirwa ko hari ibindi byiciro by'abinjiniers bituma hari inyubako cyane nk'izo bucuruzi n'izo guturwamo eh bubaka bagatekereza kuri kuri Sivowax gusa nyuma inyubako yamara kurangira bakibuka ko hari amashanyarazi hakinwe amatara amaprise fire alarm internet wajya kureba inyubako yari inyubako nziza cyane ugasanga ibisinga birakururuka hariya ejo byahiye ejo byakoze shot circuit ibintu nk'ibyo ngibyo hakwiye kubaho ubuvugizi abantu bakamenya ko muri engineering atari sivyo gusa kuko ntabwo ndi bubaho ingero mu nyubako ariko zirahari nyinshi ntabwo nazivuga hano ikindi nifuzaga ku kubaza ikibazo navuga ntese kuba mu rugaga rw'abaganga barabashije gushyira imikorere yabo ku murongo akaba nta urangiza kaminuza ngo ahita ajya kuvura cyangwa afata ibyemezo cyangwa kore consultance no mu rugaga rw'abanyamategeko naho akaba ruko bimeze 
umuntu arangiza kaminuza akabanza guca muri LPD inyanza akiga akabona gutangira gupracticinga yamaze no kwinjira mu rugaga rwabo yahawe nayo mahugurwa abafasha kuba professional ese nta kuntu natwe twamenye inzira baciyemo kugira ngo natwe tuyicemo umwoga wacu turusheho ku murongo ndetse no kuhesha agaciro eh icyanyuma nshaka kuvugaho hari umugabo njya mbona wo munyakenya bakunda gushyira speech ze kuri ku mbuga nkoranyambaga harakomperutse kubona ari kuvuga ngo atanga ingero ibugande muri Kenya muri Afrika muri rusange ngo iyo ngo ugiye kubaka ngo iyo leta igiye kubaka umuhanda uva ente bujya Kampala ngo bazana bashimwa bo kubaka yo bagiye kubaka haiwe in Nairobi bazana bashimwa bo kubaka atese abengineer bacu muri Afrika nta ko baba barize muri za kaminuza barangiza nta kintu bashoboye gukora bimeze bite nkavuga ntese mu buyobozi bwa engineering mu rwego rwa Afrika icyo kibazo mu gitekerezaho murateganya kugikoraho iki murakoze nitwa Kazawa de Papias ndo mu engineer wo mu Rwanda kandi ukorera mu Rwanda ariko guhera mu mwaka ushize mu kwezi kwa mbere nagize amahirwe iyo kugirirwa ikizere n'abanyafrika mba president w'urugaga nyafrika ari ihuriro ry'amashyirahamwe agenga umwuga wa engineering muri Afrika eh iryo huriro rikaba rifite ibice bitanu nkuko umugabane wa Afrika uteye hari gice kigendana na Afrika y'uburasirazuba Afrika y'uburengerazuba Afrika yo hagati Afrika ya yo mu majepfo na Afrika yo mu majaruguru muri ibyo bihugu byose ibihugu birimo usanga bifite indaga zigenda na numuga wa engineering none hizo ndaga zikaba arizo zigira federation ya Afrika yo yingaga za engineering muri makerebo urwo rugaga rushinzwe gukora ubuvugizi no kufatanya nabandi bo kwisi kuko urugaga nya Afrika ni imwe mu mwishyira hamwe rigize eh ishira hamwe ryisi naryo rya engineering aho duhurira n'imigabane yindi yisi tugasangira ubumenyi n'ibitekerezo n'uburyo engineering yagira akamaro n'agaciro mu iterambere ry'ibihugu ndetse ibihugu bibaye abanyamuryango biyo federation yisi engineering ubundi ugenekereje mu kinyarwanda nubumenyi bwihariye bushinzwe gutanga ibisubizo by'ibibazo societe cyangwa abantu n'ibihugu bafite mu iterambere ryabo icyo gihe rero bishatse kuvuga iki ikintu cyose cyo tureba hafi yacu ndetse n'icyo tutabona gifitanye isano na engineering ha hano mu Rwanda wahera tuvuge mu buvuzi ugahera mu burezi ugahera mu eh, bikorwa remezo ukareba mu bukera rugendo ukareba mu bucukuzi bw'amabuye yagaciro ukareba mu buhinzi ukareba mu nganda ukareba eh, mu mwiterambere gituma naho nikora na buhanga ukareba kubaka inganda no gutunganya ibintu bituruka mu buhinzi gutunganya gukora imiti ivura ahubwo ni mu mibereho myiza mbese ikintu cyose gituma imibereho y'umuntu 
iba myiza cyangwa habamo uko bigenda biba byiza bikongera ko yiyumva neza kura neza byose bifitanye isano na engineering no kuvuga ngo engineering ireba ikibazo cha kibazo ikareba uburyo cyakemuka yifashishije bwa bumenyi buyigize ari nayo mpamvu muri ubwo muri ubwo bwaguke bw'ibyo engineering ireba muri rusange wasanga harimo kategori zingenzi imyuga yose ya engineering ihuriramo urwa mbere twavuga ari rwo rusanzwe ruzwi cyane hano mu Rwanda uh, civil engineering abantu benshi bakunze kuyita ngo ni nubwubatsi ariko mu byukuri civil engineering nayo yagutse gusukurusha ubwubatsi abenshi basanzwe bavuga uzasanga amashuri yigisha engineering ntabwo hari imikoranire ihamye kandi ihoraho y'uburyo bwa bwuzuzanye bw'inya butatu buba bukeneranye inya butatu nshatse kuvuga ni iyi inya butatu nshatse kuvuga mu muri uwo muyoboro na mashuri uhereye no ku mashuri yibanze aho bavuga kwigisha science technology mathematics na na engineering usanga hatabanza isetingwa rya curriculum zigishwa uruhererekane rw'inya bitatu usanga wenda ruba rutanogejwe neza noneho ya masomo asetingwa kwigishwa ntabe afite amakuru yuzuye y'ibibazo bigiye gukemuka kuko ubundi ugomba kubanza ukareba ni ibihe bibazo ufite nushyira hiki kirakemura ibi bibazo gute impamvu rero mvuga yuko izo disconnect zihari zi, 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 izo ruhererekane rw'inya butatu gukorana rutuzuye neza nuko uzasanga ahanini abashyiraho politike y'uburezi cyangwa yo gutegura abo bantu bari mu nzego zihariye za leta kubera pressure nibiba bigomba gukorwa ariko bari muri sector yabikorera kugira uruhare kureba ngo dore ibibazo dufite ibyo mushyiraho bikwiriye kuza bisubiza ibi usanga hari gap kandi binda bivuga kubera yuko biba bisabwa yuko icyambere yo wamaze no kubishyiraho ugomba buri gihe no guhora ubisuzuma kureba ko byuzuzanya kureba ko bisubiza bya bibazo koko kuko ni bibazo bwabyo bihindura isura ukwisi umwana abakura ari mutoya akagera igihe ibyo yarakeneye mu myaka ibiri ishize bigatandukana niterambere ry'igihugu niterambere ry'abantu nuko biba bigira iyo rero wabikoze rimwe ukarekeraho cyangwa ntuna bikore ntabwo uzatanga umuti uvura ikibazo gisanzwe gihari cyangwa ku buryo bwa Burundi buri gihe uzasanga hariho gusa nkaho kuzimyumuriro the next presentation is addressing barriers to free trade it will be delivered by engineer Papias Kazawadi who is the president of the Federation of African Engineering Organizations and he is from Luada the beautiful town of Kigali Thank you very much. I am very excited every time I come to Kenya. The biggest mistake we make, engineers have kept making, is working in silos, even on matters that require our collaborative efforts. The second is talking or speaking our problems to ourselves instead of advancing them to decision makers and people with greater influence. The third 
A misconception is that engineers are the smartest from school and primary up to university. In order to have a sustainable engineering education and practice, the government have to establish the framework which will be set through the policy and the regulations that will bring together the private sector, the government and the civil society. And it is through this process where the continuing continuous processes of monitoring and controlling how it performs will be enhanced and later achieve the greater goals of making our engineers and technicians more competitive and more reliable to the global market. We want to have as many engineers participating in the event. Inama y'imyiteguro yitabiriwe n'abafatanya bikorwa urugaga rw'aba engineers mu Rwanda ndetse n'inshuti zarwo aha navuga abantu batandukanye baturutse muri za ministeri dusangwe dukorana nkongeraho abantu bikorera ku giti cyabo bagiye ari abayobozi baza companies nazo zikora ibifitanye isano na engineering eh harimo secretary executive wa federation yisi yaje kureba imyiteguro yacu ahigeze kandi kugeza ubu yashimye eh twari dufite rero nabasho n'inshuti zacu zaturutse zaturutse muri Zimbabwe nazo zaje kwifatanya natwe muri iki gikorwa ariko zanaje no kureba opportunities za business zashobora gukorera hano muri iki gihugu thank you papias he is also an engineer so you have done already the introduction i'm coming from npd npd is one of the biggest construction firms in rwanda it's a part of crystal ventures and under crystal ventures we have another subsidiary that is in the building construction it's called the real contractors we have some colleagues that are coming from there safari and joseph and uh, we also have uh, uh, a partner, a very big partner, Suma. Uh, he, he's, he's over there, but he'll, he'll, he'll have his own time. And we have uh, a, man, a manufacturing subsidiary, EGI. So they do uh, a granite tiles. So it's a, it's a work of engineering as well. So uh, as part of Chris Ventures and the talking on behalf of uh, my colleagues here, uh, we are pledging as well to support this event. Uh, we shall not uh, 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 maybe mention how much we are going to uh, uh, put in this, but uh, we shall support. We shall support and we shall ensure that uh, the event is also a good opportunity for our visibility as well. Thank you. First of all, thank you for IER for this opportunity to tell us a bit more about what you do here in Rwanda, the great work and obviously WFEO. Um, although I'm an engineer, back in the UK, I was associated with ICE, the C Civil Engineers Association. Um, I, I haven't been practicing hardcore engineering for a number of years at the moment, but it's really good to see the good work that WFEO is doing, and we look forward to this, uh, the Gecko Convention here. So myself, my name is Mohsin Tahir. I'm the project director of Rosizi 3 Energy Limited. Rosizi 3 Energy Limited is developing the Rosizi 3 hydropower project. It's a 206 megawatt uh, project. It will be the first tri-national PPP project in the region. So it's really an innovation. Uh, it's, a, it's a big milestone for the region. Um, and we are partnering with the government of Rwanda, Mininfra, REG, and obviously the other two countries, Burundi and DRC as well. It's, it's going to be over $750 million investment and we're looking to start construction next year. So as engineers, you know, it, it, the, the core team of the hydropower is our engineers and I'm pleased to say that our core team, over 95% of them are from the region. Uh, it's not that we're bringing international people here. To so for, for the conference, uh, again, like the others who have pledged, we pledge to support this as well. 
and I think it's it's a very big milestone uh, for Rwanda, but also for Africa. So we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Minister of Infrastructure and the Rwanda Housing, in particular, we all committed to participate in full. And we, of course, we mentioned we've been, uh, you mentioned we've been uh, supportive, but we commit to continue supporting uh, the Institute of Engineers and also uh, to make sure that uh, this event is a success. It is a success and uh, not only for the Institute of Engineer, uh, for many for Rwanda and also for Africa and the global in general. So I thank you everyone for being here today. Let us make this event productive engaging and memorable experience to all of us. Together, there is no limit. Let us stand together for the very well organized events. And I thank you for your attention and wish we all get started with full of energy. Thank you. engineering nayo bo kwisi yose nkuko twabisobanuye cyo gihe federation urugaga rwa rw'umwuga waba ukora umwuga wa engineering rwo kwisi rugizwe n'izindi ngaga zituruka mu bice byinshi byinshi America yepfo America ya ruguru China Australia Europe Africa ubwayo Asia irimo uh, Pacific na na India urumva rero imigabane yose y'isi zaba yahuriye hano ari kubwo icyo wenda nagira ngo cyumvikane neza ni ni iyubuyobozi ni ningaga zindi nkuko rugaga rwacu rumeze ntabwo bivuze ngo nabantu bose bazaba baje ariko nibura bari mu nzego z'ubwo buyobozi nibo bazaba bari hano imyiteguro turi gukora twiteguye kwakira abantu bagera ku gihumbi ariko muri cyo gihumbi abe birumvikana yuko abene gihugu nibo bazaba ari benshi My journey that led to the uh, starting of the Tasks Africa is based on three key elements. First of all, in 1994, when we came in Rwanda, I started a company that started doing small works in construction sector, and I have been running that company up to today. And in the process of running a small company, surviving for over 25 years, and me experiences that I, I, I would pro personally feel that it is important to share with others. The second point is the privilege that I got to be the president of Institution of Engineers Rwanda. I was the president of Institution of Engineers in Rwanda from 2017 to 2019. During that time, I also got added experience in connection to getting into the profession of engineering, where we participated in national events, but we also participated in if outside the country uh, events which involved conferences, exhibitions, and, and in these events that I was participating inside the country and outside the country, it was basically an eye-opening in terms of uh, knowledge sharing and experience sharing. So through that, I realized that there are gaps that even in Rwanda we need to work on and improve. But the, th the third point that motivated me is now when I got senior exposure into the, the leadership 
of the World Federation of Engineering Organization as well as the Federation of Africa Engineering Organizations. This one also did not only did it expose me to <coughs> to the knowledge sharing, but rather it made me discover many things connected to engineering ranging from education up to practice and uh, research. So combining the three exposures that I just mentioned, I felt that it would be important for Rwanda to start an, a company that would uh, deal and discuss in terms of promoting and advocacy for the betterment and for the improvement of these uh, engineering practices in Rwanda. Because I found it that to be very key and paramount in the implementation of the national strategy for the country and the vision 2050. What I prepared was to convince you about this one. To stop thinking about money because you can't create money. But to keep look at you know means the vectors. The vector. The vector. Eh? Remember a vector has like two or three components. The first one is the origin the source and then uh, the direction and the angle and the uh, orientation direction same thing like that destination direction same The line express what? That segment will present what? The intensity of the, the, the size. Yes. So you have that segment. When it is short, it is small. When it is big, it is big. So we can say in the physics, when you are talking about intensity, some electrician here, you know, when you are expressing intensity or voltage or power, you have the cosinus phi, cos phi, this is what to say. So, you have the angle, you have the origin. This is what I want to insist on. So, the origin, you can even use the analogy of the, 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 the arrow. When you, that arrow, it has like a, that when you are pointing the arrow, it means you can target when you want. You can change direction, you can orient it that way. So when you are looking for money, when you are thinking of money, you are on the other side of the arrow. It's so like you are saying, please send the arrow toward me. But he has the power to point it to you or someone else. So you have no control in it. But if you are to think of putting yourself at the source point, saying, now this is my arrow. I'm going to orient the way I want. I'm going to pull intensity I want. You may want, but not having the capacity. This is where you learn new things. Saying, okay, as of today, I can just produce a segment of 10 centimeters. But I want to increase from 10 centimeters to 20 next year. What do I need to do at the source point? Because everything is from the source. When you watch football players, you know how much they train themselves for being able. They train themselves. But engineers sometimes, or even many people, we say, OK, we had one exercise for public speaking. One session is now. No, it can't be. You need to exercise again and again and again and again until you do it without thinking about it. So I was thinking if you can have the mindset 
of putting yourself at the source point to cause something to happen, not to be effect. And actually, even if you were to go into life, the thing which would procure you more pleasure is the thing you have generated, not the thing which came to you. That's why people who were lucky to be born from rich family, sometimes they may not be happy. Because they have a lot of money, but they did nothing. Okay. They did a lot less for earning that money. But when you earn, anyone who remember how the first salary was so sweet? Because <laughs> you would say, this is the first product of my effort. And they say, would celebrate. It is worth it. Maybe 5,000, maybe 20, maybe. But that is, it is more important than the money you pocket money got from your parents. So, I will, that was uh, what I want to tell you to focus on what you can generate. And you do it again and again and again and again. Eventually, you will not have a big pocket for the money you will get. I'm Doutsen, Doutsen Groothof. I'm a personal development specialist. I work a lot in recruitment, selection, coaching of people and professional development. And I'm representing Tasks Africa. This is a company, a new company, a not-for-profit, aimed at promoting, building, supporting professionalism in the engineering industry by building engineers, building their skills, building their understanding of the professionalism. The specific challenges, there are many. And this is not even only for engineers. I think in many professions, communication is kind of the glue between what people know, the knowledge they have, and the way they can apply it. And for engineers specifically, often they're, they're, technici they're technical people. They have a lot of specialties. They have their knowledge, and applying the knowledge requires collaboration, requires the ability to get your ideas across, to negotiate, to influence others, to lead projects. So there's many skills engineers need in order to utilize, maximize the knowledge that they have, the ideas that they have, and the visions that they have. We talked about networking, we talked about Toastmasters Club, for example. So there's many ways that, um, that professionals can engage in practicing these kind of skills. So we gave them those tips and we shared with, with them what, what, what we advise them to do. And to also find important people around them to help them succeed. Mr. Kazawadi, my colleague from Tasks Africa, has also a beautiful speech on that. And he, he mentions the different pe people that everybody needs around them in order to, to succeed and to grow. And they all refer to it a few times uh, throughout the, the last few days. So they definitely picked, apart from the, the support in the platform, they picked other ideas as well. Like what without the organization, what can we do uh, ourselves? Where can we, what, where can we join? And how can we, with, even within our own circle, who shall we connect to in order to keep us accountable for our growth? From the beginning, people were engaged, I have to say. They were here, and it is a clear sign that they were hungry for the knowledge, hungry for the skills. They came with motivation. But when they came uh, in front of the room, sometimes when we asked them to present something, we could see the discomfort. Now, by the last day, the presentations, they had a completely different level. We could see almost a sense of pleasure uh, with, that people had in doing this task and in standing in front of the group and addressing people. It was a big difference. So I felt like that is a good proof and, and a success story that quite a number of them made a real big jump and we could also commend them for it. We gave immediate feedback and I think that also builds up again the confidence in the moment. The collaboration with, uh, with the Institute and what I would like to say to them and, and how I've experienced that, um, I'm so glad and grateful that this part that is so often forgotten, the soft skills, that it is emphasized and that, there's, that they invest in it. Because I truly do believe that 
only with knowledge and skills that's in your mind. If you can't find an effective way to get it out, to bring people together and to make that one plus one is three uh, equation, it's, it's, it's a waste and it's a pity. So I, I love that they invest in this and that they see the importance of it. And I'm very honored and proud to contribute to the project. AFCFTA is an opportunity for all Africans, not actually Rwandans. But this is a framework that also requires society, all the nationals, to be prepared for those opportunities. For example, the skills and competencies of professions, before they get to move from one place to another, they need to be complying certain standards that are set in their areas of competence. So being aware that does those uh, systems are in place and they can improve themselves towards that is one way of creating the opportunities for them in the future. So it is important that for engineers and other associated professions, even other non-related professions, because Africa is not at the same level of development, it means that opportunities, if they are not in Rwanda, they will be in another country in, within the AFCTA. So they need then to prepare, understand the regulations, understand the competencies required, and understand the standards that are in place that will enable them to move from Rwanda to different countries of Africa. And by so doing, we are expanding their market and we are expanding the potential for them to, uh, to, to, to promote their career and to promote the development of, for the Africa we all want. My name is Ustia Joanti Kazaho, the president of the institution of the Rwanda and the chairman of the governing council of this uh, On day to day basis, I work with the SAO 3D as the managing director. Maybe some of you have met before. I don't know. Are you working? Some of you are working. All right. So that's why you're training that to make sure you get jobs and improve what you're doing. So let me take this opportunity to, to thank the organizers, uh, the president. Uh, Federation of African Labour Organizations in Kazawadi, um, our UK partners, the SSL, the project manager, the CFO and the uh, education manager at the institution, uh, and all the participants. Good afternoon. Yeah, so, as you're aware, Institution of Engineers Rwanda. Our mandate is to make sure that the, the profession goes at a high level so that we are very competitive, not only in Rwanda, but in the region and globally. So it's a, it's a good to know to have uh, the participants here and the trainers and funders around with us. I'm sure you've gone through a lot of training. The last number of days that you've been here, you acquired a lot, you've learned a lot. Um, I was going through your programs for, from the first day to the last day. I'm sure you are leaving this room when you are really equipped and ready to, to hit the road run. The road run. So, uh, as institution of Indian Rwanda, we continue to give you such kind of trainings, not only in this kind of soft skills, but also the professional ones. Okay? You can as well visit our website. You will see our CPD program that we'll be doing along the year. And, uh, we are looking for partners as well. We can have our engineers going outside Rwanda in uh, engineering firms, consultancies, and uh, contractors. We can have exchange programs in the UK, in Dubai, and, uh, and uh, France. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. If it comes to you as a, uh, someone who has that chance, we are working with the institution management who do the work on a daily basis to make sure that we get there. So, without uh, further ado, let me take this chance to say we are closing this, and I'm sure you've got a lot in your pockets, in your minds, and ready to keep the Thank you so much. Have a great evening. In conclusion, 
Let us embrace the spirit of unity, collaboration, and shared purpose as we embark on this journey towards a brighter future for engineering within the Africa continental free trade area. Let us remember the words of African proverbs that remind us of the strength that lie in unity. If we want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Together, let us break down barriers, build bridges, and unleash the full potential of our engineering sector for the benefit of all Africans.